In this video, we will cover the City Shaper Crane Mission Part 1, and we will be using the MakeCode Editor. You can see here the MakeCode website, and I'm going to go ahead and create a new project. As you will see, this is a bit different from what you're seeing at home. I have turned on the camera so that I can see the robot going on. But apart from that, it is the same blocks. In make code, you have two default blocks on start, runs the code when the break starts, and forever, which loops around. We're not going to use forever now, so I'm going to delete it to keep some space here. The first thing we want to do when the break starts is to show something on the screen. We're going to use the mood block. This helps us figure out that the program actually downloaded successfully and it's doing something. It'll show the closed eyes and it will play a sound and it will also uh, do some, uh, some lights. The next thing we want to do is to pause the program. And the reason we want to do that is because MakeCode will run the program as soon as it, down it is downloaded on the break. So I use this pause until uh, button enter is pressed button. And this will pause the program here until someone goes and presses the button. Now that I have that, after the break is awakened, I'm going to change the mood to an awakened state. And what I want to do, of course, is to move the robot. Now, in the default driving base that we are using in this lesson, we're using motor B and C, which are the two standard large motors used in the Lego driving base. So that's what we're going to use today. Uh, to move the motor. So we go into the motor section and there are many ways to move your motors. These are the two synchronized blocks. Uh, we're going to use the shear motors uh, block which acts on B and C. Turn ratio means how much it's going to turn left and right. So zero means straight. 50% is the speed. So you can actually lower it if you want. Uh, here the tr turning ratio is you know, it tells you how much you're turning and stick it to zero. And also you can decide to run for some amount of time. In this case, we're going to run from one second. So that is our program. It's ready to run. We're going to have to download it to the brick. Now, as you can see, I am connected with the cable and MakeCode requires the cable to transfer the program. It doesn't work with Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. I'm going to click on download. If it's your first time using MakeCode, you might have to upgrade the firmware on the brick. There are instructions on the download dialog, which is going to show up here. If you haven't upgraded your brick, follow these instructions. You need 1.10 E. The way MakeCode programs go into the brick is that we uh, MakeCode creates a, pro, uh, a file, and that file needs to be dropped on the drive. Now. The easiest way to do that is to save this link. So you right click on the uh, uh, gray link, you save link as, and then you're gonna find the EV3 drive on your computer. The EV3 drive will show up once you connect the brick to your computer. Click on save, and as you will see, the program will start running. It is running. So we're at this block, it showed the mood, it's waiting for me to pu push on enter. I'm going to go and position it, and I'm going to press on enter, in fact I'm going to unplug it, and let's go ahead and run the program.